Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of October 30th to November 5th, 2023. First card out for you is the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone. There will be opportunities this week to do things that you have never really done before. And also I'm seeing you stepping out of your comfort zone in relationships as well by becoming more vulnerable and authentic with your feelings and your thoughts and who you are, your experiences with very various people who you have potential to get closer to, whether it's coworkers, newer friends, acquaintances, or even like a newer relationship, you know, there's opportunity this week to get closer to this person by stepping out of your comfort zone and being more authentic. But I'm also seeing like doing something completely new to you, um, kind of like it's giving that energy of like starting a new job and you don't know, you know, what it'll, in it'll entail or um, meeting someone's family for the first time or, or something like that. It's a little bit nerve wracking, but in a good way, like it will lead to a lot of good positive growth. So it's good. And we have patience coming out for you as well. If you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now. Help me relax and trust every need will be met. Often change soon follows. Wow. So there may be a situation in your life right now that is calling for you to have some more patience and just let it be what it is for right now, especially if you don't have the answer. If you know that some sort of change needs to take place, but you don't know what should change, you don't need to make a decision right now. Let it be right now. And you know, the situation may evolve or give you some answers in the meantime. Um, act on your intuition always. And sometimes it takes time for that intuition to sort of load up and gather information and then tell you what to do. Um, but if you haven't gotten there yet, just stay where you're at and, um, um, allow other people or outside situations to move a little bit um, and then the answers you need will soon come anyways usually um, yeah we your major arcana card this week is judgment so we're seeing a huge decision being made here actually ironically uh, we just said like don't make any decisions if you don't feel called to it and then judgment is like a decision is made uh, so this actually leads me to believe though that something outside of you is making a big decision um for example someone may be coming closer to you and opening up about something or saying you know they want to making the decision to reconcile with you or be closer to you more committed to you uh this could also be like your boss or someone deciding to change up your work situation or this could be like a client or customer coming in on their own you know what i mean i feel like there are outside influences this week um, outside people making decisions uh, that involve you and it will change the situation. You know, if things have been feeling stagnant recently, for example, or just quiet, I feel like this week it'll start being shook up again because people are just making decisions to move closer towards you or work with you or invite you places. Like you'll notice some events uh, just popping up, like invitations popping up, and you don't necessarily have to do anything to bring this energy in right now. Okay, so we're gonna pull six cards this week, two rows of three from the Rider Waite deck. First card out is the world in reverse. A cycle is coming to a close right now, and there should be a new one coming in. Second card out, three of pentacles. Yes, I, I knew I picked up on this. Someone wants to work with you more or further, or like, I don't know why I'm even seeing in a work environment. If you work with other people, I <laughs> there's a fuzzy in my face. I am seeing them be like, I want to work closer with you. And I don't know why I'm getting a very specific message. Some of you guys, this could be your boss and they're trying to like promote you in a way, but like you're going to start working with them directly a lot more. Does that make sense? So like you'll be working alongside your boss a lot closer now and a lot more. Um, like it's more involved with them. Like you're more of a team, it feels like. Uh, for others of you, this could be some sort of collaboration. Someone may reach out to you wanting to collaborate on something, especially if you're a creative of any kind. Um, if you're like a freelancer, this could also be like a client coming through, a customer coming through with a pretty big project, honestly. Um, so it's looking good career-wise for sure. This week is definitely looking good career-wise. 
um, I feel like your work is being admired from people and there are people making decisions to want to work with you deeper or like for bigger projects for bigger things so um, that's amazing money will definitely come through this week <laughs> via you know your career your job um, this could also apply to like other relationships as well like someone wanting to be closer friends with you or in a deeper relationship with you but let's see third card out is the seven of pentacles yeah this is kind of encapsulating that patience energy we saw earlier um, I mean the seven of pentacles this is someone who planted this plant here knowing that it would make him money and he has worked really hard and he you know he has already harvested one of the pentacles and these ones are about ready to harvest but he's feeling a little frustrated because you know he's worked so hard and he's not seeing that much results however if he just waits a little bit longer all of these pentacles will be ready to be harvested and then like some of them can even be replanted and can turn into a bigger 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 thing you know and then it can have like an explosion of momentum and forward movement with finances so it's saying like be patient another thing i'm seeing here and guys i am not someone who gives professional legal advice this is literally being channeled through um, if you're invested in stocks and stuff and you're thinking about selling, you may want to hold on to them. That may be a message for someone. Um, don't give up on something just yet. I really feel strongly this message of don't give up just yet because there's going to be some type of win coming forward this week. Some type of um, result for your hard work uh, coming through. Like You don't even have to do anything because you've already been working hard, I feel. And I feel like um, this is just people appreciating you and or rewards for your efforts coming through. Second row out, fourth card is the chariot in reversed. Whew, yeah, this talk is about going out of your comfort zone and you might be resisting it a little bit, but do it, say yes to this. There's, like I said, there's gonna be an opportunity coming through forward and it will feel a little bit uncomfortable like it won't be the most like easy like okay yeah thing in the world because it may require some sort of learning for you like you may need to learn a new skill um or it just has a dynamic that you're not used to and you're thinking about saying no to it for that reason but spirit's saying you have to say yes to it because it'll be really worth it Fifth card out is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Some of you may be feeling impatient in uh, love. I'm feeling, especially um, if any of you are dating and you're not quite in a committed relationship with them yet and you may be thinking like, oh, this is just a physical thing. This is just, um, you know, a passionate thing and you're wanting to like take that next step. Um, but it may feel uncomfortable for you or for the other person for whatever reason it just might be like a newer dynamic so get uncomfortable by having this conversation this week you know stop similar message to Sagittarius actually stop staying in the energy of waiting okay so have a conversation if you need to have a conversation um say yes to something if it's out of your comfort zone if it will lead to more growth and final card out, Ace of Swords. Oh my God, I swear. <laughs> we were just saying, have the conversation. And then the Ace of Swords came out. Ace of Swords is literally a card of a brand new direction and also a conversation coming forward um, that will lead to a brand new direction. So if, it, if any of these messages apply to your love life or relationships in general, um, there may be someone who you're a little bit uncomfy with right now because uh, you may feel like it's too surface level for your tastes and in which case you're being asked to have a conversation right now to get yourself out of that energy of waiting and literally tell them like, look, I want to move forward uh, with or without you, <laughs> honestly. Um, and for others of you, like, like I said, this is someone outside of you coming forward to give you some sort of proposal, some sort of offering, some sort of opportunity, like a promotion, work with me. Like this could be a whole new brand new beginning for you. So um, that leads to like from one thing to another, you know, uh, for example, someone could collaborate with you and they could be in a type of business that is completely different from what you do. But from the collaboration, it sparks your interest and gives you a new skill. Um, and then that leads you to like another idea and another idea and another idea for like growing your career in a, in a different direction. So I don't know. I would say yes to any opportunities that come forward. Also, I want to just note that whenever an ace comes up in a reading upright, it just shows a lot of 
positive energy in general. So there's an exciting new beginning happening this week. Multiple new beginnings, I feel, for you. So that's amazing. Thank you guys for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.